guys, what's up? It's Melody and today we're going to talk about my top tips when it comes to building or getting down to a minimalist wardrobe. If you are new here, definitely give us a subscribe so that you can see the next minimalist video. On this channel, we talk about all the ways to make life more efficient so that you can focus on what really matters. Maybe what matters to you is being outdoors and just living your life or maybe it is adding to your mind and having space to think or improve your career whatever your goals are minimalism can help and especially minimalism in the wardrobe and minimalism with paperwork makes the biggest difference today we're going to talk about the tips the very first tip is to dress for your body type and not your mood so personality is great there are so many ways to show your personality it can be in your mannerisms in the things that you talk about in your jewelry there are so many ways to show off personality so i do not show it off through my clothes except for where color is concerned i love color i'm not a black and white minimalist at all but i will generally speaking stay away from patterns because I get tired of patterns after a while. Plus it's very obvious when you start wearing the same thing, if you get really vibrant patterns, it sticks in people's mind and they're looking at the clothes and not necessarily you. And another thing is that when you go out of the house, there's so many things going on, you know, at parties, so many people bustling around, talking when you're in nature, the trees are blowing in the wind, the leaves are glittering. So there's enough going on that I don't want my outfit competing. I'd rather it be a kind of respite for the eyes, a nice column of simplicity. I'm going for classic look because I think that classic looks are the most versatile. So if I get too much of my personality from the cut of the clothes, for instance, if I'm wearing chunky sweaters or something like that, I can't wear it to multiple events because it will look out of place in some events. So I generally stick to two types of clothes, which is sundresses, which I wear most of the time, and then tailored dresses which i wear for all of the events for a party or even church or anything like that you have some very nice tailored outfits that can go from day to night and then sundresses just work for everything else so when it comes to the fabric that i'm going for i'll go for cotton when it comes to the sundresses although some of them need to be ironed but they're breathable so the maintenance for ironing is worth it if it means breathability because with breathability your skin your skin is so much clearer and you smell a lot better in my opinion so breathability is important but since i'm not wearing fancy dresses most of the time then it can be mixed fabrics also mixed fabrics tend to fit you more like a glove which is definitely the look you want to go for when you're going for the classic look so therefore my top tip is to tailor your classic clothes that is the best advice you can give anybody that's in college is once they get out tailor your clothes there is almost no designer that's going to have your exact measurements especially if you have a small waist like i do and a bigger bottom you have to get that tailored down you can look all day long for the brands that fit that measurement or you can just go to a tailor support a small business and have something that looks like it was literally designed for your body so the best thing you can do when it comes to jeans and when it comes to beautiful classic dresses is to go and support your tailor shop and get it fit perfectly for you it makes all the difference in the world another thing that i really like to make sure is that my nice clothes aren't going to require dry cleaning because i have neither the time or the patience nor do i want to keep on spending money to get my clothes cleaned so when you look at something on the shelf you have a price that you see that your mind is registering and that's not the whole cost of any product. The cost of any product is the cost that it will take to maintain it as well. So I stay away from fabrics that will require special care. Now, certain fabrics, they can go in the washer, but they are very delicate. So I have a lacy black top that I really like, and that is supposed to be dry cleaned. However, I've never dry cleaned it. And that's because I just throw it in a mesh bag so that it's protected in the washer and then I can run it through. But if you get silk or wool, you're always going to have to take it out. And so I would just stay away from those fabrics. And then the very next thing that I consider is comfort. 
you want to consider comfort for clothes because if it is way too short and you constantly have to readjust the bottom, if it just is not comfortable, it's way too tight, it is going to cause lots of problems. And when you dress for your body type, you have an extra confidence because it's made exactly for you. And also when you dress for comfort, you have an extra level of confidence. It feels like you're almost wearing nothing because it's a very comfortable material. Now I have two tips for you on figuring out how am I supposed to dress for my body type? How am I supposed to know what flatters? You probably already have some idea. If you go in your wardrobe and you're not sure, all you have to do is wear them and take a picture with it and you will see the clothes that look the best for you. Obviously there's not a lot of times where you're going to be photographed and so therefore you don't know if something's flattering you. You just think, well it's comfortable, seems good enough for me. <laughs> and so that is why it's good to take photos of all of your garments, you in all of your garments, because then you'll know what other people are looking at. You can also use the analytical approach. So I have a book here of all the colors that I look good in. So they give you about 50 I think. 50 colors that look good on you. And you don't have to get your colors analyzed, but my point is there are colors in your wardrobe that you know you look good in and you should stick to those color palettes. So for me, I look good in autumn colors and some teal. So this tomato red right here matches exactly with this tomato red. And this is a great color. How you know it's a great color is when you hold it up to your face, your face kind of glows. Your face gets the attention and not necessarily the garment. The next thing that you want to do is take the Kibbe test. And Kibbe was a designer for celebrities and so he mapped out 12 different body types. And a lot of us when we think of body types we only think of four. <laughs> four body types. There's a lot more body types than that. And the thing is, is that when we dress for our body type, our body type, we may gain weight over the years or lose weight, but our body shape will stay similar. And the problem is that if we dress for our mood, our mood will go all over the place. <laughs> And so you're gonna to have to have a lot more to accommodate your mood than if you just accommodate your body, as well as I have more confidence when I dress for my body type. So my body type in particular is a dramatic classic, and so I look the best when my tailored dresses come all the way up to my knee, my kneecap, and are not mid-thigh or short dresses. Sometimes it's fun to break the rules. I'm an INTJ, so we break the rules. <laughs> Sometimes it is fun to break the rules and I wear ruffles or I wear a short dress, but overall I stick to what works. And so if you have things in your wardrobe that you absolutely love, but it doesn't fit your body type, don't, there's no need to chuck them all. If you feel great wearing it, then stick with what works. <laughs> and that's what I do. If I like something, I'll just chuck the reasons why it won't work and I'll make it work for me because it's something that I love. And so you shouldn't just be throwing out all your clothes if they don't fit this criteria. You should gauge it based on how you feel in them as well. But if you've ever been in a family gathering and you see yourself in a dress, in a picture, in a dress, and you're thinking, wow, I felt like it looked so much better, you'll know why when you take the kibbe test. So if you notice in my videos, I rarely ever wear a scoop neck top. And also because of my angular body, it looks best when clothes are tailored to it and not when I have ruffles or a lot of things going on. Which is a good thing because as a minimalist, I don't like all of that visual distraction. So anyway, I hope that you will take the kibbe test because that's one test that changed my life forever. Once you find out your body type, you can look at the people that have your body type and the way they would dress and you can mimic it a lot and it will look just as good on you. I hope that this video helped you out because this information when I figured it out changed my wardrobe and my shopping the way I shop forever. Now my shopping is very efficient and so I can get to the things that I really enjoy doing. Again, if style is your thing, then it's a hobby and it's an exception. But if you're like me and there are plenty of other things you would love to be doing, you can swear this all away and you really don't have to touch it for a decade or more. So I hope that you'll give these tips a try. Don't forget to subscribe so we can see you in the next Minimalist in Organization video.